the future just arrived and it's supersonic AI guided and powered by an explosive ramjet. Meet the Scepter, TRBM 155HG, Tiberius Aerospace's 155mm artillery round that turns a traditional howitzer into a long range precision missile launcher. This is about missiles, rockets or aircraft that travel at speeds greater than Mach 5, five times the speed of sound. Supersonic is between Mach 1 and Mach 5. So the Scepter TRBM 155HG is supersonic. When you fire a traditional artillery shell, it leaves the gun and then it just flies. Gravity pulls it down and hopefully it lands near your target. It's ballistic. The trajectory is set when the shell leaves the barrel. But this baby is rocket assisted all the way. It cruises at 65,000 feet, 19,800 meters, which is higher than most commercial airliners ever fly. That gives it a 93 mile, 150 kilometer range, four times further than conventional rounds. This baby has a liquid fueled ramjet in its nose that keeps accelerating to its target. And it does it in less than eight minutes. That means it's flying at a mind boggling Mach 3.5, over three times the speed of sound. At that speed, a shell could literally scream all the way to its target. A typical artillery shell might take 20 minutes to make the same trip. This thing has a small 11.5 pound, 5.2 kilo warhead, but because of its incredible accuracy, it doesn't need a massive payload to do damage. It's like a scalpel instead of a sledgehammer. The Scepter TRBM 155HG has a GPS and INS plus AI targeting system. That means it can use artificial intelligence to guide itself to a pinpoint target, making it incredibly precise. Plus it has a 16 foot 5 meter margin of error, which is smaller than a basketball court. That means a howitzer battery could theoretically hit a 16 inch 40 centimeter diameter target from nearly 100 miles away. On top of that, it is also maneuverable. It can dodge enemy jamming and maintain its accuracy. And it's not just the missile part that's smart. The entire system is designed to be user friendly. It has an integrated fire control system that makes it easy to set up and operate. And it's compatible with NATO standard howitzers, meaning it can be used by any NATO country without major modifications. Tiberius unveiled this beast right before the future artillery conference in London a not so subtle pitch to allies scrambling to arm Ukraine. If the West starts shipping these things, let's just say Russian generals won't be sleeping well.